Greetings, Eric Packer, New Zealand naturopath, author of Candida Crusher. The question today is, is molybdenum any good for candida? Well, there's debate about that. Some people say yes, some people say no. I've used molybdenum um, a few years ago clinically on many different candida patients and found no benefit at all. Uh, other patients reported significant benefit. It really depends, I believe, on the level of die-off or how candida toxins are produced in the body and how many occur and how the body's own system deals with those toxins. So to understand um, acetaldehyde, for example, is an important part of the molybdenum equation. So acetaldehyde is something that candida toxins can produce. We can also find it as a byproduct from alcohol consumption. Um, so acetaldehyde is actually also found in, in some types of fruits, in bread, for example, in coffee it's found. So it's a compound uh, that can be naturally occurring or produced by the body as a consequence of ethanol. So if you drink ethanol, uh, or basically alcohol, there's an enzyme in the liver called alcohol dehydrogenase that helps to break acetaldehyde down. <clears throat> Uh, but in some people, there's a real problem. They have way too much, for example, acetaldehyde production in the body, and that can contribute to the hangover or the drunk feeling that can hang around. Whereas other people experience it in sore muscles or sore joints, for example, as a common occurrence. So molybdenum uh, can help to basically uh, really play an important part in this cycle. It can get hold of aldehyde and break it down uh, to acetic acid. So... And that's very important. So if you can bust something down, you know, into a smaller compound, and acetic acid again forms part of an energy cycle in the body, it converts to acetyl enzyme uh, CoA, which helps to, to provide energy in the body. So molybdenum, a few milligrams per day, is often lacking in people's diet. So you can take it as a dietary supplement. It's pretty hard sometimes to find in different foods. But I have my doubts whether everybody with yeast infection should take molybdenum uh, to help break down, you know, some of the byproducts of candida. You're better off really getting the liver to work uh, effectively by taking in the right kind of foods and herbs to achieve this end, and also reducing the amount of antifungal product you take so you don't get massive die-off in the body occurring. Because the big mistake a lot of people make, they take too much antifungal and get a massive amount of, of uh, death occurring with the yeast cells. If they do it slowly and methodically, it's going to be much easier for the body to process and therefore a heck of a lot less chance of die-off. People who sell these supplements claim that everybody has die-off, which is a load of crap because not everybody has die-off. And the thousands of patients I've treated with Candida who've experienced severe die-off have almost always told me that they made major diet changes and took lots of antifungals and lots of probiotics all within a matter of a week or so. Of course you're going to experience severe die-off when you do silly things like that. But if you do it methodically and slowly and carefully, as I've outlined in my book Candida Crusher, it's not going to happen. So if you do want to go, you know, like a bull at a gate and like hard on into a candida kill, molybdenum may be a benefit for you. But for the majority of people, it won't be required. Molybdenum should be part of a multivitamin that you take every day, just like cobalt, copper, selenium, zinc, you know, all those other essential trace elements that are lacking in people's diets. Manganese plays a, a vital role with candida. Biotin, zinc, there are so many elements. But to single one out and say this is the, you know, the silver bullet, this is the nirvana of, uh, of candida treatment is not really the right thing to do. So don't fall for the line that molybdenum is going to make you feel loads better. Because in a lot of cases it won't do that. But that gives you a bit of an understanding on molybdenum's role in, uh, in candida toxin metabolism. So I hope this video is of use for you today. Thank you.